BASFSE is a German chemical company and the largest chemical producer in the world. The BASF Group comprises subsidiaries and joint ventures in more than 80 countries and operates six integrated production sites and 390 other production sites in Europe, Asia, Australia, the Americas and Africa. Its headquarters is located in Ludwigshafen, Germany. BASF has customers in over 190 countries and supplies products to a wide variety of industries. Despite its size and global presence, BASF has received relatively little public attention since it abandoned manufacturing and selling BASF-branded consumer electronics products in the 1990s. At the end of 2017, the company employed around 115,490 people, with over 52,000 in Germany. In 2015, BASF posted sales of €70.4 billion Euros and income from operations before special items of about €6.7 billion. Euros. The company is currently expanding its international activities with a particular focus on Asia. Between 1990 and 2005, the company invested €5.6 billion Euros in Asia, for example in sites near Nanjing and Shanghai, China and Mangalore, India. BASF is listed on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange, London Stock Exchange, and Zurich Stock Exchange. The company delisted its ADR from the New York Stock Exchange in September 2007. The company is a component of the Eurostox 50 Stock Market Index. Topic. History BASF is an initialism for Badischer Anilin und Soda Fabrik German for Baden Anilin and Soda Factory. It was founded by Friedrich Engelhorn on 6 April 1865 in Mannheim, in the German-speaking country of Baden. Engelhorn had been responsible for setting up a gasworks and street lighting for the town council in 1861. The gasworks produced tar as a byproduct, and Engelhorn used this for the production of dyes. BASF was set up in 1865 to produce other chemicals necessary for dye production, notably soda and acids. The plant, however, was erected on the other side of the Rhine River at Ludwigshafen, because the town council of Mannheim was afraid that the air pollution from the chemical plant could bother the inhabitants of the town. In 1866, the dye production processes were also moved to the BASF site. Topic. Dyes The discovery in 1857 by William Henry Perkin that aniline could be used to make intense coloring agents had led to the commercial production of synthetic dyes in England from aniline extracted from coal tar. BASF recruited Heinrich Caro, a German chemist with experience of the dyestuffs industry in England, to be the first head of research. Caro developed a synthesis for alizarin, a natural pigment in madder, and applied for a British patent on 25 June 1869. Coincidentally, Perkin applied for a virtually identical patent on 26 June 1869, and the two companies came to a mutual commercial agreement about the process. Further patents were granted for the synthesis of methylene blue and eosin, and in 1880, research began to try to find a synthetic process for indigo dye, though this was not successfully brought to the market until 1897. In 1901, some 80% of the BASF production was dyestuffs. Topic. Soda Sodium carbonate soda was produced by the Leblanc process until 1880 when the much cheaper Solvay process became available. BASF ceased to make its own and bought it from the Solvay company thereafter. Topic. Sulfuric acid Sulfuric acid was initially produced by the lead chamber process, but in 1890, a unit using the contact process was brought on stream, producing the acid at higher concentration, 98% instead of 80%, and a lower cost. This development followed extensive research and development by Rudolf Kanich, for which he received the Liebig Medal in 1904. Topic. Ammonia. 
The development of the harbor process from 1908 to 1912 made it possible to synthesize ammonia a major industrial chemical as the primary source of nitrogen, and, after acquiring exclusive rights to the process, in 1913 BASF started a new production plant in Opau, adding fertilizers to its product range. BASF also acquired and began mining anhydrite for gypsum at the Konstein in 1917. Topic IG Farben. In 1916, BASF started operations at a new site in Luna, where explosives were produced during the First World War. On the 21st of September 1921, an explosion occurred in Opau, killing 565 people. The Opau explosion was the biggest industrial accident in German history. Under the leadership of Karl Bosch, a critic of Nazi policies, BASF founded IG Farben with Hocht, Bayer, and three other companies, thus losing its independence. BASF was a nominal survivor, as all shares were exchanged for BASF shares prior to the merger. Rubber, fuels, and coatings were added to the range of products. Topic. World War II. Following the appointment of Adolf Hitler as Chancellor in 1933, IG Farben collaborated with the Nazi regime, profiting from guaranteed volumes and prices, and from the slave labor provided by the government's Nazi concentration camps. IG Farben also achieved notoriety owing to its production of Zyklon B, the lethal gas used to murder prisoners in German Nazi extermination camps. In 1935, IG Farben and AEG presented the Magnetophon, the first tape recorder, at the radio exhibition in Berlin. The Ludwigshafen site was almost completely destroyed during the Second World War and was subsequently rebuilt. The Allies dissolved IG Farben in November 1945. Both the Ludwigshafen and Opau plants were of strategic importance for the war because the German military needed many of their products, e.g., synthetic rubber and gasoline. As a result, they were major targets for air raids. Throughout the war, Allied bombers attacked the plant 65 times. Shelling took place from the autumn of 1943 and saturation bombing inflicted extensive damage. Production virtually stopped by the end of 1944. Due to a shortage of male workers during the war, women were conscripted to work in the factories, and later prisoners of war and foreign civilians. Concentration camp inmates did not work at the Ludwigshafen and Opau plants. In July 1945, the American military administration confiscated the entire assets of IG Farben. That same year, the Allied Commission decreed that IG Farben should be dissolved. The sites at Ludwigshafen and Opau were controlled by French authorities. Topic. BASF refounded. On 28 July 1948, an explosion occurred at a BASF site in Ludwigshafen, killing 207 people and injuring 3,818. In 1952, BASF was refounded under its own name following the efforts of former Nazi Party member and Third Reich Wehrwirtschaftsführer war economy leader Karl Wurster. With the German economic miracle in the 1950s, BASF added synthetics such as nylon to its product range. BASF developed polystyrene in the 1930s and invented styropore in 1951. Topic: <inaudible> Production abroad. In the 1960s, production abroad was expanded and plants were built in Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Brazil, France, India, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Spain, United Kingdom and the United States. Following a change in corporate strategy in 1965, greater emphasis was placed on higher value products such as coatings, pharmaceuticals, pesticides and fertilizers. Following German reunification, BASF acquired a site in Schwarzside, eastern Germany, on 25 October 1990. It expanded to Podolsky, Russia, in 2012, and to Kazan in 2013. Topic takeovers In 1968 BASF together with Bayer AG bought the German coatings company Herbel. 
BASF completely took over the herbal branches in Cologne and Würzburg in 1970. Under new management, the renewal and expansion of the trademark continued. After an extensive reorganization and an increasing international orientation of the coatings business, Herbal became part of the new founded Deco GmbH in 1997. BASF bought the Wyandot Chemical Company, and its Geismut Louisiana chemical plant in the early 1980s. The plant produced plastics, herbicides, and antifreeze. BASF soon tried to operate union-free, having already reduced or eliminated union membership in several other U.S. plants. Challenging the Geismar OCAW union resulted in a labor dispute that saw members locked out from 1984 to 1989 and eventually winning their case. A worker solidarity committee at BASF's headquarters plant in Ludwigshafen, Germany, took donations from German workers to support the American strikers and organized rallies and publicity in support. The dispute was the subject of an academic study. The union also exposed major accidental releases of phosgene, toluene, and other toxic gases, these being publicized in the local media and through a video, out of control. A court threw out a $66,700 fine against BASF for five environmental violations as too small. BASF's European coatings business was taken over by Axonobel in 1999. BASF bought the Engelhard Corporation for $4.8 billion in 2006. Other acquisitions in 2006 were the purchase of Johnson Polymer and the construction chemicals business Adigasa. The acquisition of Johnson Polymer was completed on 1 July 2006. The purchase price was $470 million on a cash and debt-free basis. It provided BASF with a range of water-based resins that complements its portfolio of high solids and UV resins for the coatings and paints industry and strengthened the company's market presence, particularly in North America. The acquisition of Degusser AG's construction chemicals business was completed in 2006. The purchase price for equity was about 2.2 billion euros. In addition, the transaction was associated with a debt of 500 million euros. The company agreed to acquire Seba, formerly part of Seba Gaiji, in September 2008. The proposed deal was reviewed by the European Commissioner for Competition. On 9 April 2009, the acquisition was officially completed. On 19 December 2008, BASF acquired US based Whitmire Microgen together with UK based Sorex Limited, Witness, Great Britain. Sorex is a manufacturer of branded chemical and non chemical products for professional pest management. In March 2007 Sorex was put up for sale with a price tag of about £100 million. In December 2010, BASF completed the acquisition of Cognos. In May 2015, BASF agreed to sell parts of its pharmaceutical ingredients business to Swiss drug manufacturer Siegfried Holding for a fee of €270 million, Euros, including assumed debt. In October 2017, BASF announced it would buy seed and herbicide businesses from Bayer for $5.9 billion. Billion euros, seven billion dollars, as part of its acquisition of Monsanto in August 2019. BASF agreed to sell its global pigments business to Japanese fine chemical company Dick for 1.15 billion euros, 1.28 billion dollars, on a cash and debt-free basis. In September 2019, BASF signed an agreement with Dupont Safety and Construction, a subsidiary business unit of Dupont Co., to sell its ultrafiltration membrane business, Inger GmbH. According to BASF executives, Inga GmbH and its products fit better with DuPont and their business strategy. Topic. Finances For the fiscal year 2017, BASF reported earnings of EUR 6.1 billion euros, with an annual revenue of EUR 64.5 billion euros, an increase of 12% over the previous fiscal cycle. BASF's shares traded at over 69 euros per share, and its market capitalization was valued at US 63.7 billion euros in November 2018. Topic. Business segments BASF operates in a variety of markets. 
Its business is organized in the segments of chemicals, plastics, performance products, functional solutions, agricultural solutions, and oil and gas. Topic: <laughs> Chemicals. BASF produces a wide range of chemicals such as solvents, amines, resins, glues, electronic grade chemicals, industrial gases, basic petrochemicals, and inorganic chemicals. The most important customers for this segment are the pharmaceutical, construction, textile, and automotive industries. Topic: <inaudible> Plastics. BASF's plastic products include high-performance materials in thermoplastics, foams, and urethanes. Engineering plastics. BASF's engineering plastics consists of the four ultras. Ultramid polyamide (PA), nylon-based resins, ultradure, polybutylene terephthalate (PBT), ultraform, polyacetyl (POM), and ultrasyn, polysulfone (PSU), and polyethosulfone (PAES). Styrenix bas styrenix consists of the foams and copolymers. BASF styrenic copolymers have applications in electronics, building and construction, and automotive components. In 2011 BASF and INEOS blended their global business activities in the fields of styrene monomers SM, polystyrene PS, acrylonitrile butadiene styrene ABS, styrene butadiene copolymers SBC, and other styrene-based copolymers SAN, AMSAN, ASA, MABS into a joint venture named Styrolution. Polyurethanes BAFS polyurethanes business consists of diverse technologies and finished products. Urethane chemicals are raw materials used in rigid and flexible foams commonly used for insulation in the construction and appliance industries, furniture, packaging, and transportation. Foams Foams like Styropor are generally used as insulating materials. They are eco-efficient and offer advantages over other materials in terms of cost-effectiveness, preservation of resources and environmental protection. Investments made for insulating materials usually pay for themselves within a short time and contribute to retaining and even enhancing the value of buildings. Polyamides and intermediates BAS manufactures polyamide precursors and polyamide. Biodegradable plastics BAS developed a biodegradable plastic with a high content of polylactic acid. Topic: <laughs> Performance products. BASF produces a range of performance chemicals, coatings and functional polymers. These include raw materials for detergents, textile and leather chemicals, pigments and raw materials for adhesives, paper chemicals. Customers are the automotive, oil, paper, packaging, textile, sanitary products, detergents, construction materials, coatings, printing, and leather industries. Functional solutions BASF's functional solutions segment consists of the catalysts, construction chemicals and coatings divisions. These divisions develop customer-specific products, in particular for the automotive and construction industries. Agricultural <inaudible> 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 BASF supplies agricultural products and chemicals including fungicides, herbicides, insecticides and seed treatment products. The company also researches nutrigenomics. BASF opened a new crop protection technology center in Limburgerhof, Germany in 2016. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Biotechnology BASF is cooperating with Monsanto Company in research, development and marketing of biotechnology. In correlation to this work, BASF has licensed many gene editing tools including CRISPR-Cas9 and CRISPR-CPF1. The BASF plant science subsidiary produces the Amflora and Starch Potato genetically modified potato with reduced amylose. In 2010 BASF conducted Department of Environment, Food and Rural Affairs approved trials of genetically modified potatoes in the United Kingdom. Starch potato was authorized for use in USA in 2014. Other GM crops are phytaseed canola varieties with phytase, sulfonylurea herbicide tolerant soybean and drought tolerant corn with cold shock protein B developed with Monsanto.
Topic: <laughs> Oil and gas. BASF explores for and produces oil and gas through its subsidiary Winters Hall Holding AG. In Central and Eastern Europe, Winters Hall works with its Russian partner Gazprom. Topic: <laughs> Investors. 75% of the BASF shares are held by institutional investors BlackRock more than 5%. 36% of the shares are held in Germany, 11% in the UK and 17% in the US. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Production. BASF's recent success is characterized by a focus on creating resource-efficient product lines after completely abandoning consumer products. This strategy was reflected in production by a re-focus towards integrated production sites. The largest such integrated production site is located in Ludwigshafen employing 33,000 people. Integrated production sites are characterized by co-location of a large number of individual production lines producing a specific chemical, which share an interconnected material flow. Piping is used ubiquitously for volume materials. All production lines use common raw material sourcing and feedback waste resources, which can be used elsewhere e.g. steam of various temperatures, sulfuric acid, carbon monoxide. The economic incentive for this approach is high resource and energy efficiency of the overall process, reduced shipping cost and associated reduced risk of accidents. Due to the high cost of such an integrated production site, it establishes a high entry barrier for competitors trying to enter the market for volume chemicals. BASF built a new chemical complex in Dare, Gujarat at a cost of $100 million. This facility has South Asia's first methylene diphenyl diisocyanate MDI splitter for processing crude MDI. BASF has eight production facilities in India. BASF SE has succeeded in developing a semi crystalline polyamide that allows light to pass through largely unhindered. Ultramid Vision combines very high light transmission with low light scattering. This makes it the world's first semi-crystalline polyamide for semi-transparent or transparent components in chemically challenging environments. Additionally, the unique polyamide is UV and temperature resistant, scratch-proof as well as suitable for flame retardant requirements. Ultramid vision can be used in various application fields, it recommends itself especially for parts for visual check, illumination or light design. Ultramid Vision presents a versatile alternative to commonly used materials such as amorphous aliphatic polyamides, polycarbonate or styrene acrylonitrile copolymers. Environmental record In 2006 BASF was included in the Climate Leadership Index for their efforts in relation to climate change and greenhouse gas emissions. BASF has created filters for wastewater treatment plants that help to reduce emissions. The BASF Company and Columbia University formed a partnership to further research environmentally benign and sustainable energy sources. The company has recently reported their emissions in 2006 to be 1.50 million metric tons of waste, which is a decrease from previous years. The amount of waste BASF produces has continued to fall, while BASF publishes its environmental information in the US and Europe. Greenpeace has expressed deep concerns at BASF's refusal to release environmental information on its operations in China. In May 2009, a BASF plant in Hannibal, Missouri, United States, accidentally discharged chromium into the Mississippi River. The local Department of Natural Resources performed tests in December 2009 showing the chromium levels did not exceed regulatory safety limits. BASF worked with the Missouri Department of Natural Resources to resolve questions regarding the elevated level of hexavalent chromium that was detected in the effluent from one of its permitted outfalls into the Mississippi River. The State Department of Health reviewed the test results and determined that the amounts found were well below recommended public health screening levels. In 2013, BASF reported a spill of several hundred kilograms of the chelating agent Trillin B, tetrasodium EDTA, into the River Rhine from BASF's headquarters in Ludwigshafen, Germany. Topic. See also. 
Dow Chemical Company Union Carbide